Hey, what's going on? This is Jeff Corrett. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of Meet Alfred, the LinkedIn automation software. Let's get right into this. So let's talk about how well it works and, and why you want to use it. Well, the number one reason why a lot of people are switching to Meet Leonard right now, I'm sorry, Meet Alfred right now is because Meet Leonard and um, what are the other ones? There's a whole bunch of other ones. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Uh, you know, Linked Helper is one. Meet Leonard is another one by the same company. And uh, what's the big one? Uh, I'm drawing a blank on it, but let me hop right in. And Octopus CRM is another one. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch. Um, but anyway, a lot of these other LinkedIn automation tools, they're extension based, right? So that means they're they're driven by a Chrome, extren a Chrome extension. Um, the downside of that is that LinkedIn knows what you're using. In fact, if you want to get an idea of what LinkedIn can see, you can get this uh, little plugin called Nefarious LinkedIn. You can Google it. When you log into LinkedIn, you can click this little button here in your Chrome extension, and it tells you all the different um, tools or, or, or LinkedIn automation things that they could find. And right now it's checking. And it's going to give us a list of everything it's checking right now. Anyway, kind of, kind of besides the point. The whole point of this is LinkedIn knows what you're using. LinkedIn does not want automation happening on LinkedIn. Uh, I should say Microsoft doesn't want automation happening on LinkedIn. Why? Because it ruins the experience, especially if you're doing things in a way that a lot of people are doing in kind of a spammy sort of way. Um, so all the, all the spamminess on LinkedIn is causing um, this. And so I, you know, I use automation uh, as just kind of the first step in order to get people to respond. Once they respond once, I'll actually take over. And I'm actually helping some people with this, like digital marketing companies. I'm helping them um, do their LinkedIn lead generation here. So what you want to be using Meet Alfred for is to kind of just, you know, take over the first step. And once somebody starts talking, okay, then you actually have to hop in and, and keep that conversation going, build some authority, build some trust. But this is a review of Meet Alfred and, uh, and how well does it work. All right, so... Uh, I will start by saying it does work pretty well. It does work very well. In fact, it's my favorite um, LinkedIn automation tool at this time. Um, so, you know, I, a lot of people, uh, there was definitely some growing pains in the last month or two when a lot of people switched away from Meet Leonard and other tools like that because of, you know, getting warnings I personally got a warning from LinkedIn saying, hey, we know you're using Meet Leonard. Um, you have to click this box to agree uh, to not use it anymore or you're not going to be allowed to log into LinkedIn. So I had to click that box. So that's why a lot of people are switching to Meet Alfred. Um, but here is, let, let's start with the homepage, I guess. So a lot of people seem to be using this. Um, you can reach out to tons of people. Um, now let's, let's talk about how it actually works. So there's one major thing. There's two major things that I like here, uh, as opposed to kind of how meet Leonard worked. Uh, and again, meet Leonard was the old extension based product by the same company, I believe. But it was very like, it was, you know, it was nowhere near as seamless as this. So what this allows you to do is create like a whole automation campaign. So let's talk about exactly how that looks. So right now I've got, um, I've got one campaign running. It's this one. You can, you can start it and you can pause it. Now, one thing I like is you can see how well you're converting. And I believe that conversion rate and I might have to double check with support, but I believe that conversion rate is telling me 
how many people connect, uh, accepted my connection request. I wonder if that's telling me how many people respond because I, I actually have a multi-step funnel, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, but, you know, I've sent for this particular campaign, I've sent it to 1,157 people all automatically. Um, well, actually, it built up a list of 1,157 people. I've sent 1,155 messages out. It's been accepted by 242 people. So I've got a conversion rate of 21%. So I, I guess that is accept the accept rate to connection request. I've sent 212 messages on the back end, and I've gotten 77 replies. So I wonder what my conversion rate is to replies. That, you know, obviously it's smaller, but that that I guess that's not too hard to put together those numbers myself. But it's nice that they give you these numbers. I guess is my point where. You know, like Octopus CRM, I've used that. It didn't really give you these numbers. Meet Leonard doesn't give you these numbers. I don't think a lot of these LinkedIn automation tools give you these numbers in such an easy, um, easily calculatable way to kind of see how well your stuff is working. So let's click, let's click details. So when you click details, it shows you um, all of the people that you've reached out to. So that's nice. It shows you the stats, um, how many actions were taken, how many targets were touched. Um, you know, all the views that you've gotten, all the connections and all the, the messages that you've sent. Uh, it, show, it, it gives you a little snapshot of your sequence. And I'll, I'll, I'll hop in a little bit more about like what my sequence is. I guess this is just kind of a quick snapshot of your sequence without necessarily having uh, having to edit it. Uh, but my favorite thing is activity. I think it's just really cool to see like oh, what's exactly happening like right now. For some reason, this button is not working. And pause the video. All right, activity has loaded and you'll see that these are some people that, um, that I've reached out to in the last 24 hours. Um, and you'll see, you'll see why it hasn't sent in, in a number of hours in just a, in just a couple minutes here. But you can see that all these people I have reached out to, um, you know, with the same, with the same thing. So I'll, I'll hop into my actual, um, into into my actual sequence. So let's let's go back to the campaign screen, and I'll show you what the sequence looks like. All right, so here's the sequence. So I've got this whole like one, two, I don't know, maybe ten step sequence of people of things that I do for people to try to get them to uh, respond. So first, I view their LinkedIn profile. So all this is automated, by the way, and everything runs until they respond. So um, First, we view their LinkedIn profile. Then a day later, we send a connection request, which is, uh, this is my wording. Hey, I was a little nervous to connect because we haven't talked before, but here I am getting out of my comfort zone. Uh, I use that wording uh, right now. And I'm not saying I'm going to stick with that forever, but for right now, it seems to be getting a good response. Just it's a little bit more human than what people are doing on LinkedIn, and it helps me stand out, I feel like. Uh, and then one day after that, um, if they connect, if an only, they, ha they actually have to connect or we don't send. I, I don't think you can, but uh, they have to connect. Um, and if they do, um, we go on to the next message one day later, which is like, hey, now we're building authority, right? So not only are we connected, I'm starting to build a little bit of authority. Hey, just so you know a little bit about me, I run SEO. We help digital marketing company owners free up their time for more important things when they delegate their client SEO services to us. Uh, here's a podcast that I was on. Um, so, hey, people who are scammers don't really get featured on podcasts, right? So um, one of the podcasts. Oh, this wording is important. But, um, you know, I am a serious entrepreneur. Been in this industry for 20 years. Um, I want people to know that uh, I'm not just some random Joe trying to sell them something. I am actually trying to create a relationship. So hope you enjoy it. Looking forward to getting to know you getting to know you professionally. All right, so we stop there. One day later, we reach out, trying to start, trying to get a little bit of a response. Curious, first name. If you had to pick, which marketing tactic would you consider to be your agency's core competency? 
And then two days later, we view their LinkedIn profile again. If they haven't responded yet, we'll say, hey, I found something concerning with your SEO and created a quick video explaining. Mind if I send it your way? And then wait two days. And then we have one, two, two more um, follow-up video, uh, two more follow-up messages. I should probably add one more because I, I believe in the three. Three follow-ups is usually what it takes. I probably should have three, but for now it's two. It's whatever. Um, and I've got I've got more opportunities to create vid uh, value videos for people than I can even keep up with. So uh, it's working, right? I ha um, it is not about closing a quick deal. I mean, these are outbound leads, so you know it's going to take a lot more uh, extra effort after the initial connection in order to build their um, build the authority and gain their trust. So it's just you know it's a long game, but it is a predictable lead generation method, right? So, um, but try to keep the focus on this, uh, on this video onto the review of the actual software. So, um, you know, it works like, so I, I don't know if you can see this or not, cause I, I'm using uh, our screen recorder from within my browser, but I just clicked the bottom of my screen and you can open up Alfred there. Alfred pops up on my screen uh, where it's like a little, it's like a little applet that runs in on the background of your PC. So it's actually dripping out messages all day long, not just messages, but all the stuff. Look, if you can see this, it says sending message to this person right now. So it's actually sending messages right now. Um, it drips it slowly all day long. So you got to keep it running all day. So, um, this is not going to be a good fit for you. If you, um, don't like to leave your PC on all day, uh, but it, like I said, it slowly drips things out. You can see your activity, your last few things on this little applet and also the status. And it shows on the top right, at least right now, what's currently happening. So you can get a, you can get a good idea of whether or not it's working. And, and so let's, that leads me into my edit working hours. So you can set it what hours of the day that it's set to run. So I've got mine running Monday through Sunday between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, you can change that to whatever you want. So if you only want to send during business hours, you can do that. Um, and let's just say you can go after the business hours of a certain, whatever your, you know, your target market is, you could do it like that. So that's cool. Let's hop into edit daily limits. So here's where you can set your views, the number of views per day, the number of connection requests per day. I'm at 75. Most experts say 75 is, is the max. So that's what I'm keeping it as. Um, you could go up to a hundred there if you wanted to, they don't let you go any higher, which is probably a good thing. So people don't um, abuse that uh, maximum of 50 messages per day and then 30 in mails per day. I'm sorry. You can go up to a hundred messages per day and for views, you can go up to 300. I'll keep it at, I don't know. I forgot. I don't even know what it was at a hundred. Um, so there you go to create a campaign. You can either uh, use a LinkedIn URL, like a, a typical search URL, uh, or you can do a CSV of LinkedIn URLs. I recommend uh, using Sales Navigator. You don't have to, but the reason why is because you can be a lot more specific about the search that you do. And so, you know, you just do a search. Basically, you just do a search on whether it's, it's a regular LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And you could say like, I don't know, wine industry uh, CEO, right? And you just basically take that URL, pop it into uh, your meet Alfred here. This is loading up. Yeah, you just take the take that URL, pop it in here, or you have, or you, maybe you have a CSV of link of specific. Like if you want to be super duper specific, you could, I guess you could do it that way. I haven't done that. I just do the LinkedIn URL, which Let's be honest, LinkedIn search is not that great. So a lot of, I don't want to say a lot because you can, you can cut it down with, with Boolean search and stuff like that, but a fair amount of uh, people are going to be a bad fit. So just keep, keep that in mind. Like it's kind of a shotgun approach. You're going to get some bad fits in there. Some people are going to get angry, um, but not that many. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else to go over. Uh, just clicking around getting, oh, so I thought this was kind of cool. They've got the they've got a bunch of videos uh, that were really helpful. I found to 
um, figure out how to use this software. If this video isn't enough, they got some really good stuff here. Um, I found that the, even when they were completely swarmed, I think they said 20,000 Meet Leonard and, and other users were switching over to Meet Alfred uh, in a matter of a week or two when um, I think Meet Leonard said that they're not shutting down, but they're going to not continue to support it. A whole bunch of people wanted to switch to Meet Alfred because it is application-based, like desktop-based. Even then, they were pretty good at support. So, you know, if you email their support, they'll get back to you really quickly. Um, yeah, so I think if you are serious about LinkedIn, Meet Alfred is certainly something that you should be considering. Um, there's some little pop-ups too, like th these go away. I, I fully expect this to disappear here in a second. It's not disappearing. Uh, it's saying my app is not online. Let me double check that. Oh, well, I guess one, one kind of negative thing. Um, I don't know why this is doing this, but one kind of negative thing you do, at least for the time of this video, you do have to reset the applet once every couple of days sometimes when things just get stuck. And look, the software is not perfect. I mean, let's not, uh, let's not, and it, it's new too. So, I mean, they are still working out some kinks. Just know that going in, know that you're probably going to have to reset, um, reset your little applet here. And in fact, you, you can see some, some issues happening right now on this video. I'm, I'm resetting the page and look, I think those error messages have already gone away. The little glitches like that, look, they're going to happen. So look, is this a perfect product? No, but is it the best? I think so. Um, and you can see all the different drafts that I've done. You've got your drafts where well, I, I didn't finish doing it. Archive something that, you know, I'm trying different things. So basically I'm doing a new campaign. Every time I do an update, I kind of create a new campaign and then I can compare the conversion rate. It looks like this one was doing a little bit better than this one, but then it's like, well, wh which of the changes? I'm trying, I'm trying not to make too many changes at a time, but look, this is way better than doing nothing and waiting for word of mouth and referrals to happen for your business. Um, and let's see, oh, you, they've got some team stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see, what am I paying for this? I should, I should uh, ask myself that. Hopefully nothing bad gets shown here, but, um, Oh, so basically what they did for me, because uh, I was a Meet Leonard, and I think I paid in advance for a year to save some money. Um, what they did was they said, oh, we'll tr since, we're, since we're not going to support Meet Leonard anymore, we're going to transfer your Meet Leonard subscription over to Meet Alpha. So I think I'm paid in advance for like several months, but I think this is in the $25 a month range. And when you think about, you know, what that would... Uh, what the return on that investment would be if you just got one client. I think if you're in digital marketing or, or in, if you're doing services for like not bare bones, um, I think, uh, you know, the ROI would be immense if you just got one client from doing this stuff. And I have, you know, um, to getting started billing. Let's see what the settings are. I'm just trying to walk you through everything. So you really have to make an informed decision if you're going to use this or not. Uh, let's see, billing. Okay, we already saw that. So I'm, I, it looks like I'm paid up through March of next year. Sweet. Automation settings. Uh, cause here's here's where you log into your LinkedIn connection. So you would actually type in your LinkedIn credentials here, and that's how it connects to your LinkedIn. So that, that happens here. And uh, let's go back to the team. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not really using the team part of this. Um, Oh, you can do multiple organizations too. So uh, I'm not really sure. Like I am helping people with this and, and handling their Meet Alfred for them, like digital marketing companies, but I'm just kind of logging into their Meet Alfred account. So they can have Meet Alfred running on their PC, like a little applet, but I can actually log in remotely and manage their whole campaign, which is great. Um, so really, really cool software. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and uh, be happy to answer you. So again, this is Jeff Corrette. Um, my company is SEO. Um, we help digital marketing companies sell and deliver high quality SEO services to their clients. Um, if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing with notifications on and I'll see you in the next one.